wind straight for the shore. Stay together. A simple job, I was told. Silence a big mouth, get a big payout. And no one was going to be the wiser. Tidy, except for one loose end. Me. I would have kept my mouth shut. Professional integrity, it's called. Unfortunately, not something my employers believed. They raised a toast to a job well done. I drank, and the next thing I know, I'm on this stinking crate bound for exile. It's not a complete loss, I suppose. The way I hear it, there'll be plenty of work for a man of my type of senior class. Yeah, nothing like a brisk dip to start the day. Now we're on God's ass. Bastards dumb near two dozen of us off that ship. Uh, you and me were all that survived the swim. <laughs> Never lost much difference between exile and the death sentence. <laughs> uh, once I catch my breath here, we'll take a look around. See what Ray Class does on offer. Thought I saw smoke in those rooms up the beach. Could be worth checking if there's... Uh, uh!
Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us the moment his blackguards dumped us in the water out there. Just live or die now. Here, have one of these. And no need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. A sodden shadow staggered from the surf and surveyed the somber strand. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about, he went on. Easy, man. You could poison a bloke with a room like that. The name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Merry Gull. Alas, my Merry Gull is gone. My crew is uh, gone. But my wits remain, after a fashion. <laughs> Tarkley rescued from the waves, a stricken bestial, fate slave, from fallen crew and broken bark, bestial lives thanks to Tarkley. <laughs> Arrow, the merry gull's cook, washed up on the rocks over yonder. Dead as a door now he was, buried in myself. Then, a few days later, I see him on the beach. I bet the worse for wear, but upright, shuffling about. A land full of disturbing surprises, this great class to me. Greetings. The walls of this old ruin, Lion Eyes Watch. Defensible enough with a few stout, well armed veterans. But what have I got? Starving exiles with driftwood clubs and rusted dirks. Still, there's the waypoint. A piece of locomancy. Couldn't use it till I found another one out in the mudflats under a rower's nest. Step on that one and you're back here in a flash. Though I spill my lunch every time I use the damn thing. The Eternal Empire has some right nasty leftovers. Whether it's something in the air or in the water, no one stays dead in Raycast. Not the first time. Take a little while, but sooner or later, corpses wake up and go looking for breakfast. Bestel's a strange fish. Best taken salted. That hat he wears? <laughs> Lucked it right off the real captain's head. Captain of the night. Generous fellow. Had given the rest of himself to the scavengers already. I saw what you did to Hillock out there, Shadow. Your murderous art is the reason you're here, in exile. And it'll be the one thing that sees you through to another dawn. I'm Nessa, and I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of the putrid giant. Back in Aureth, I feared your kind, condemned you from afar. In Rayclast, I don't have that luxury. Lion Eyes Watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Tuckley's as good a man as you can find on this godforsaken coast. He has some wrongs to right, no doubt. What they are, I don't really care. If not for him, we'd all be dead. Bestel's ship tore its belly open on the rocks out there, trying to escape from Corsairs. The pirates took what they wanted. The scavengers took the rest. Hartley pulled their cell from some hideaway in the wreckage. The only one on board to survive. Whether the ordeal turned his mind, or whether it's just his nature, their cell sails on a different course to the rest of us. There's an island, a hop skipping a wade offshore of the terraces. That's where my merry girl ran aground. Watch the local spit roast the ship's doctor, but his medicine chest might still be there amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands often was lousy with a scaffold and even worse with a sword, but he knew his apothecary. It explains the Shaky Hands, if you ask me. 
poor Nessa. Not even a mother herself, and yet she cares for us all. And what a sickly, pathetic brood we are. May she live to have her own family, a real family. If anyone deserves that, Nessa does. 